Welcome one and all. Got a QSP knife in the studio with green micarta scales. Interesting design. Small knife, very lightweight. Here's your deep carry pocket clip, right hand only. Hmm, yeah, the hardware looks pretty decent. It's got a pass through here for a lanyard and a black G10 backspacer, 14C 28N blade. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, you know, it's not doing anything crazy here on the scales, so I can get in there. I can get in there. I'm kind of up on this shelf for that and down here for those two. So is it three finger? It's a three and a half finger knife, but it's not a very big knife. It's got a little choil up here, flat grind, satin. Yeah, um, I, I, you know, I don't see them around a bunch of places yet, so that may date this uh, video, but uh, it's fairly new out on the market, and so I think I saw somewhere where they were asking $40 for it, so it's going to be somewhere in that area, it looks like to me, which I think is pretty pretty reasonable. Uh, let me see if the knife will be a knife. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. Comes in a box, just like this. The Leopard. Linen micarta. Open it up. What I do like about QSP is they'll talk about the exact knife that you're buying. So, 3-inch blade. 7.25 overall, so kind of a three and a seven deal, not unusual size, but it makes it a small little, you know, light carry, uh, discreet carry type thing. It's the QS uh, 135, okay? Yes, it has bearings. Yes, we will take it apart as well. So, put this back. At least it's a strong structural box, uh, magnetic closure, that kind of thing. Pretty uh, muted type flipper tab. It's not real tall. See where that is? Uh, it's kind of just this weird square look, although you can see how it kind of hangs out at the end with the jimping out here. So you can, you know, since it's a short knife, I got it buried in my palm, my fingers clear out here, so really grabbing it up here is convenient. Definitely a light switch on that. Nah, this is this is not a, you know, yeah, it's more of a light switch than a push. Uh, but, yeah, kicks right out. It's really snappy, that's for sure. Uh, what's your lockup on this? Uh, that's 30%. Blade to handle length. Well, I mean, considering this is how this runs up here. Yeah, we got it all. And the design flow? Fine. Yeah, fine. Disappears right into the bolster there. So no odd stuff going on there. Fit and finish is fine on this as well. Looks like they've skeletonized the liners. If you look down there, you see them holes down through there. So... Okay, um, you know, not bad work for no more than they want for it. And yeah, um, the ergos are reasonably decent. Reverse carry is, or reverse grip is kind of not really important, but it's doable. It's doable. There's the, there's the pommel. I can get my fingers on there. There's the drop. I mean... It, it, you know, it's not going to be drop shutty necessarily. There it is like that. But uh, it drops pretty good when you release that, uh, the liner. And the liner is easy to get through, pass through and release. And it's, well, where I've got my thumb, obviously it's quick over the detent ball. It is there too. Even if I move it up here, it's already over the detent ball. See that? 
So it's quick over the detent ball, but you can lean back and let it drop straight down because it's not that heavy a blade. Probably not going to cut you regardless. But yeah, uh, and I'm saying it feels light, so let's do that because that's the big deal right here. Along with the design and the price. And the price looks good. The design looks good. 80 grams and uh, 2.8 ounces uh yeah uh, that's pretty dang light that's an ounce lighter than the pm2 see that's 3.8 i don't know if i got any well i got this it's not going to be lighter than that that's 1.1 there's my little dragonfly let's put the tape on it Okay, come on. Three inch blade, supposedly. And it is to this closest point on the bolster. Other than that, maybe you could say three and an eighth. At about 75 to anywhere, 75 to 78 millimeters. Overall, yeah, seven and a quarter. About 18 and a half centimeters. Mm, 13.3.52 it's not yeah it's not that it's not that thin that's for sure uh 0.12 on the blade which will be yeah 3.1 millimeters so you can kind of tell yeah uh plunge looks pretty symmetrical so overall i mean design flow lightweight uh if, if this is the size that you don't mind carrying. I mean, if you got to have a minimum of three and a half inch blade to four inch blade and all that kind of stuff, this is not yours. Um, I I don't mind small knives because I think it's uh, nice to have a couple around, even if you're not, you know, a, you know, primarily uh, buying or carrying small knives. It's nice to have a few around just for those times when some big old pocket brick is not going to do. So yeah, fit and finish looks pretty good. I like the green micarta. And for that price and that kind of hardware, it seems reasonable to me. Um, kind of roughed out around here, doesn't it look a little bit? But you know, micarta just is kind of that way. Balance point on the knife is easy to find. Jimping on the top of the uh, blade. No real go forward position. Don't need one small knife. So, good for that. Well, no entree from the, from the front. So, we'll have to go on the back side here on a number eight. And, yes, it's coming right off. Haven't touched this knife, you know. Number six is on the body. And let's take this one off here, back behind here. Well, maybe I should have took the pocket clip off and just took the scale off first and then the liner, but I didn't, I took it all off. Uh, and it, it made it a little bit more difficult I had to put my little wedge tool in there and pop it um okay nice and shiny d-shaped pivot so obviously you know you're not going to spin the the pivot taking that uh screw off the back and ceramic detent ball and ceramic bearing so uh for what i think the price range is on this. It seems uh, pretty decent quality parts in there. And yeah, okay. So there's your uh, pivot. And it's got, uh, it's a flattened shape. Of course, that, you know, correlates when you flip it to, to the flattened area over here. So it'll stabilize it. And of course, it also... Uh, you know, gets this logo lined up correctly. 
and you can see that it's uh, squared off here too so it goes in and lines up the logo as it should so that's the, that's you know, good Liners are skeletonized, internal blade stop, there's your uh, backspacer, we can put it back together, just put a bearing there. Put the blade on, and of course, you know, you already got your, your stop built in there. So that's already on the blade. Another bearing, and you'll be out of here once you slap the uh, other side on, like this. Should all line up just fine and dandy. Looks like it is. I don't want to over tighten. It never did fall completely out of the scale, did it? Oh, it's a number six, too, by the way. Starting to get used to number eights being in the in the bodies, and uh, it doesn't carry across all brands anymore. It's some of them still got number sixes. Okay, uh, should be centered, and it looks pretty daggone close. Okay, that kicks out. Let me see if we, no, there's no play. Uh, drop's fine. Actually, drop feels better. Uh, there was some debris in there, so I think we, uh, that and the KPL improved things a little bit. Nice little satin grind on it, though. It, it's okay. Yeah. I was kind of ho-hum about it when I first got it in. I've had it for oh, probably a couple weeks. And, you know, eh, I'm, I'm not super big on small knives anyhow, but I've warmed up to this one since I've had it in my hands and, you know, felt it. It, it feels solid, feels structural. Um... I wasn't sure about the design at first, but it does make sense. Piercing, slicing, nice flat grind. Actually slender like this. Doesn't take up a lot of real estate in the pocket. And very lightweight. So uh, there's a lot of things going for it. And I do like the Micarta as well. Micarta in green there. Really, really very nice. I think I saw... Drop, Mass Drop had a drop on this, although it's not active anymore. Can't remember what they were offering them for, actually. Uh, probably should have got in on that, because uh, they usually have pretty good introductory price when they do that. All right, QSP Leopard. Uh, you know, this is a consideration if you like my card of scales, you like a slender, lightweight knife, discreet carry, uh, and budget-friendly, need we say. And, you know, it's not D2. So, uh, you know, it's got more chromium, it's more stainless, uh, corrosion-resistant, that kind of thing. I'm going to leave you to it, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out. And you know what we do. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.